has to do with thresholds and levels of, of, of awareness. And what's happening is you have consciousness is right here, and everything above consciousness, hyper, you're aware of it. And everything below here, you're not aware. By the way, I have an exceptional paper that I wrote, which is standalone on the system, that will be Appendix A in the new printing. And any of you want that Nexus article, it's online, or you're welcome to send me an email, and I'll send you a PDF that you can work from that has images and the mathematical equations. The images are not in this book. The mathematical equations are. The reason I'm going to talk about the math is because the math tells me how to what to tweak where. And by the math part, what, it's not right. It's a model. And the model I have shows me that I'm supposed to tweak this part, not that part. And if I tweak this part, this is what happens to psi energy. And what we're going to be talking about, psi energy is basically thought forms. And everything begins inside the mind and then creates the reality out here. This is not out here already. This is not real out here. This is the only thing that's really real. In imaginal psychology, they'll say it's, that's what it's called, imaginal psychology. Imagination is reality. And you're only limited by your belief systems and assumed truths. And you don't have to give up belief systems or assumed truths, but sometimes it's appropriate, like my bell-bottom pants. I'm never going to fit in them again, but I'm never going to throw them away either. <laughs> well, well, they represent a part of my life when I was a hippie, and I love it. And it was you know, no, it's it's important, and belief systems are important. By the way, and one of the other power tools we're going to learn is how to change beliefs, like you would a pair of clothing. That is an extremely powerful tool, and uh, could allow you to do things that your belief systems will not allow you to do, like survive. How does it, the woman said, I'd rather die than change. What's going to happen? Uh, pretty much. That's how it works. And so being a hypochondriac, where you're worried about things and you're oversensitive, can actually be, uh, you know, you can be creating your own reality. That is basically the part of it that is so important for me to, to get across to you, that you are, man has a responsibility for the thoughts he chooses to entertain. And you have to be very careful with your mind. You can be paranoid, you can be, you know, tweaky, you can be, you know, if that's not suiting you for survival, why would you put drugs? You're tweaking out on drugs and you have this, you know, going because you're toxic and you're going to, that's the point I'm going to suggest to you. You have a responsibility for the thoughts you choose to entertain. And if there's certain kinds of foods, certain kinds of drugs, certain kinds of people, certain kinds of anything that deviates you, then what you want to do in the little community you bought or participate in, that's what makes you a different kind of a kibbutz than something else. And in fact, each one will actually in fact be different. Mutant down under. How many people read that kind of thing? Or mutant down under? Yes, yes, of course. All right, so with that said, that book is, while it's bogus, Aborigine Medi Medi Meditate is everybody in this room has a responsibility. What is it? Well, you don't know yet. What you do is you move as a unit, and everybody finds their own natural velocity in terms of what they feel best and most comfortable in. Me, I like to eat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, well, at least you got it, some of us. Right? All right, let's all of us go down and close our eyes. I'd like you to start focusing on your breathing, you know. Inhale. Exhale. Slowing it down. Watching yourself breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Controlling your breath, watching yourself breathe. Oh, now that's starting to feel pretty good, isn't it, right there? Yeah. Now we're going to go down a little further. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Watch 
watching yourself, constantly watching yourself. You pick it up, take it down. Now, I want you to start with your toes. Do you feel your toes? Okay. I'd like you to wiggle your toes. And then wiggle your wrinkles and your feet. Turn to rock. Moving up the legs. I'd like you to feel your calves. Tighten them. Relax. Bring up your legs. Tighten them. Hold. Tighten them. Hold. Tighten them. And relax. I'm going to do that again. Focus on your legs. Tighten them. Tighten them harder. Harder and relax. Focus on your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Focus on your legs. Tighten them. Tighten them. Tighten them more and relax. Moving up the body, the chest, stomach. Tighten your stomach a little bit. Tighten it. Relax. Inhale. Exhale. Starting to go down deeper. Starting to feel yourself go down deeper. Make a note where you are. Let's go down a little deeper. Tighten your stomach. Come on. Tighten it. Relax. Inhale. Exhale. Going down a little deeper. Let's move up to the chest, the arms, your hands. Feel your hands. Feel your arms. Feel the muscles in your arms. Flex them. Flex the muscles. Flex them. Feel that. Off and on. Inhale. Exhale. Tighten your arms. And relax. Inhale. Exhale. Tighten your arms again. Let's make them a little tighter. Tighter more. And relax. Focusing on your breathing. Slowly, slowly move up your chest into your shoulders. Feel your shoulders wiggling. Feel your shoulders wiggle. Tighten them and relax. Inhale, exhale. Now let's stay there for a moment and just enjoy that place. A quiet place where you're focused on your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, Exhale. When you are ready, I'd like you to count slowly from number five down to one. Where you are relaxed and yet you're totally awake. You are absolutely awake. With each number backward, you will begin to feel much better and more relaxed. In fact, you'll feel more better than you've actually felt in several days. Five, four, three, two, one, down. This state right here is a very low level depth of hypnosis. It's Approximately where you're going to do your best results in guessing when you're in this very <coughs> soft, relaxed mode. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Oh, 
down deeper. Oh, that felt good. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale, down, down, down. Now this place is even a more closer place to where you're going to do it. But it's actually, in fact, the same place. It's just that more of your body is participating. Inhale. Exhale, down. Go down. Fall. Fall. This place is almost too far down. It's right in there. You're totally awake. You can do anything that you want. You can open your eyes, you can close your eyes, you can go open your eyes, close them again. You can go right straight to this place because this place is conscious enough that you don't lose consciousness. It does not necessarily require your eyes closed. It just requires that softness inside. Feel that softness? That's the place you're looking for. You want to find that part of it. Breathe. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This is the place approximately where your abilities, your enhancements, are going to shine. Okay, now, give yourself a command that when you come back up, you're going to feel better than you've ever felt in the last several days. And we're going to end this exercise shortly. We're just going to come right back up. I'm going to do that on a count of five. And if, number five, I'd like you to open your eyes. Let's go to one. Coming up. Coming back up. Two. Feeling better and better and more relaxed. Number three. Four. And I'd like you all to open your eyes now, please. And number five. Let's open your eyes. And we're here. And that place and what you're feeling in that rush of blood. Because you've relaxed your body. When you can feel that flush, that rush, kundalini, whatever you want to call it, that's the first thing that you want to look for. And making right decisions. You want to feel that chill. There we go. Mm -hmm.